I'm sitting here with John in Steinberg Winery. And John, you're the uh, general manager in charge of everything here at the winery and the restaurant. Isn't that correct? That's correct, that's yes. correct. We're sitting at Steinberg and Steinberg means stone mountain. It's the mm -hmm. direct translation into Afrikaans. And if, if you come here, you really see why it's called Stone Mountains, because it's stones and stones and stones everywhere. That's exactly it. So we're surrounded, it's uh, granite, and mm -hmm. this forms very much part of all the soils here. So the stone mountain degrades, and then we've got decomposed granite as part of our soils. Hence, we do fantastic Sauvignon Blanc. Right. Lots of minerality, flinty, lovely flavors that come through, and that's from the... the granite soils mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well we've got a mixture of different soils but they all predominantly originate from granite right uh, we do have sandy soils we've got loam we've got different substructures but as i say all granite origin yeah. we went in on the deep side here talking about soil structures <laughs> and uh, <laughs> geology a quick introduction to Steinberg. Okay, Steinberg is we, a very old farm. It, uh, we date back to 1682, so a lot of history. Uh, our strength and what has made Steinberg famous is Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. So the terroir and the area that we are in, in Constantia, very close to the sea. It's a very cool area, very cool terroir, and we make these fantastic Sauvignon Blancs. Mm -hmm. so, we do four different types of Sauvignon Blanc. A picnic wine, an entry-level Sauvignon Blanc, a Sauvignon Blanc called Rattlesnake, yeah. a reserve Sauvignon Blanc from a very old vineyard, and then our normal standard Sauvignon Blanc. So, what, we What's the difference between, is it the, the, the vinification or is it the origin of the grapes? Or? Yeah, very much well, I, I would say the origin of the grapes. So we're looking at a single vineyard or right. a collection of vineyards, or wine that we source in from different coastal regions. Right. So it's very much the selection of vineyards and then we treat them slightly differently. Some have a little bit of wood, yeah. uh, some are very cold fermented, yeah. some are richer, some are leaner. Okay. I, I think wines throughout the world, the greatest wines go back to terroir. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you get lots of wines made which are, have no origin mm -hmm. and those are usually your cheaper leveled wines but as soon as you start getting sense of place wines with personality wines that are more expensive wines that are specific mm -hmm. it goes back to one vineyard one area mm -hmm. very special mm -hmm. very specific now sauvignon blanc is a grape variety which is very well known for some of the the wines from france for instance the sancerre and the, the white many of the white bordeaux how are your wines different from those? Mm, interesting question. Uh, lots of people refer to South Africa as New World. Yes. But well. in actual fact, what is interesting is I would say Australia and New Zealand are a lot more New World. Mm -hmm. South Africa dating back and having the history to the 1600s. Yeah. But also the style. We fall between France and New Zealand. Our wines are not as pungent and fruity as New Zealand, yeah. uh, but they are not as austere and um, specific as France. So we yeah. in between, and it's I think it's a lovely way of explaining kind of being between the old world and the new world. Yeah. So it's it's not quite as overwhelming as the uh, New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, nor quite as steely mm. or stony as. Co France. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now you also do some red wines, I believe. Yes, 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 yes we do. Right. Okay, we do, I think we're famous at Steenberg for doing Merlot. Yes. That would be our kind of red wine of choice. But we do a very interesting Italian variety, Nebbiolo. Oh, do you? Yes, yes. So okay. we were the mother, we had the mother vineyard of Nebbiolo. We were the first mm. people ever to plant Nebbiolo in South Africa. Mm. And we do a small amount only about 500 cases of a pure Nebbiolo. Mm -hmm. And then we have a very special red wine blend, which is our flagship wine, which we call Katerina. Mm -hmm. And Katerina was the founder of Steenberg. And we also have this name, uh, the wine named in honor of her. It's a yeah. blend of five varieties. Yeah. Yeah. Which are? 
Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, mm -hmm. Shiraz, Cabernet Franc, and Nebbiolo. A very uh, unique blend. With the Nebbiolo? With the Nebbiolo. Well, when did you sort of plant the Nebbiolo? Nebbiolo was planted in 1993. Yeah. And the first harvest was 1997. Yeah. And we have just planted another new little Nebbiolo block just to add on So you're happy with it, I guess, if you're planting more? Well, I, I won't say we're trying to do too much. It's yeah. very specific, yeah. but we'd like to continue it through the years. Yeah. Because otherwise what you see here often in South Africa is the Bordeaux uh, varietals plus the Pinot Yes, course. yes. Uh, but you're trying out a bit new things. Well, I think we decided to do something exotic and something different and Nebbiolo was the one we chose because no one else had it. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, we don't we don't do pinotage, mm. so we stick very much to the the Bordeaux red varieties, and then naturally we have Shiraz as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, is there a specific house style with Steinberg? Uh, look, I we are cool area, so yeah. our wines are cool climate wines. They are more austere. Um, more structured. Yes. Uh, the red wines definitely are not fat and uh, bold. They're yeah. definitely more structured. Yeah. Sounds a bit as if you would say they're more food wines than uh, social wines. You know, I. Well, I would I would think it would be wine and food and socializing. But definitely, yeah. they are wines which are beautifully matched with food. Yeah. They elegant wines. Um, they not uh, it's not a wine you're going to open up for just having willy-nilly just over a barbecue yeah. it's yeah. it's it is a wine which is made for good special food matching uh, more specific uh, yeah. wines with lots of elegance and sophistication and you do sparkling well, no, I have to mention that yes, because you're sitting sparkling. with a sparkling yes. glass of <laughs> wine in your hand when I first started at Steenberg, we did 2,000 bottles of yes. Method Cut Classic or Champagne style. Yeah. And through the years, we've increased our production. So we're currently doing 60,000 bottles. Yeah. And all bottle fermented, all riddled by hand, degorged. Right. Yeah. And it's a great, uh, I, I just think, a wonderful product. Lots of purity, um, lots of festivity. Uh, uh, one thing to mention, that, uh, well, it's wine which is good to start to meal with and we talked about food and wine just a second ago and we're actually sitting in the restaurant that you have here on the winery premises which is called Restaurant 16. Bistro 1682, Bistro 16. so we've taken the history, 1682, yes. the, the founding year. And it's an excellent place to come for lunch. Absolutely, yeah. and uh, naturally uh, Cup Classic is one of those fine wines which you can have with breakfast very early and you can have it with lunch and you can have it with dinner and you know I mean you can end off a meal and restart your party with sparkling wine. John, thank you very much for taking the time Absolute to Absolute pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your wonderful tour in South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>